the motion elements artist actually has created a lot of different looks for us which we can pick and choose i'm just going to be picking the layers that i want that will end up in the final product so according to the text next one i'll need a big experience word i think this will look great let me just change it to red so that i know that this is the one i want maybe i'll go ahead and change this to these to red as well and then next one i need a frame for beauty this will look great for beauty nature and culture this looks great for the To keep the timing intact, because I'm going to be removing these two frames, of course the timing will um, be screwed up. So I'm actually going to be aligning my cursor to the first frame of the layer that I'm going to be deleting. And then I'm going to select uh, all the layers from the one that I want all the way to the end. I'm going to just drag, I'm going to press shift, drag it here. And then I can delete this too. I'm going to do the same for the rest as well. You can actually align the cursor to a layer that you have selected by pressing shift and then drag it. As usual, select the top. there we have it scrub true okay so sometimes after you realign you notice that uh, um, there are areas that you don't want to this actually shows back the first frame which we don't want to I think that's because this layer has transited out too early so if you actually toggle down you can actually see that there are keyframes keyframes are markers that show you uh, the animation so if we actually toggle down here you actually see that the position keyframes it's off you can actually just select all of these and then shift it out here looks great let's hide these Now that we have selected out the layers that we want, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, place in all the footage that we want and change the text copy that we need. Motion elements.